raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need to love the world around us, to be a light in darkness. He's with us every breath. He's with us every step so we can leave fear in the dust behind us. If you want to raise the game, he will give you strength to reach another level in Jesus name. If you want to raise the game, he will give you strength to reach another level in Jesus name. We are moving up, moving up. We are making it, making it loud. We're making it loud.
Hello everyone, my name is Josie Hibden. I am the new children's director for Turning Point Open Bible, and I will be sharing the Bible story with you each week. This week, we are talking about love, and I have a great example of love for you that happened with Jesus and two of his good friends. When Jesus was on earth, he said and did a lot of things that made people think about life in a whole new way. He taught that it is very important to treat others the way you want to be treated, People back then cared a lot about getting as much stuff as they could and having others see them as important and powerful. People struggle with that today too. But Jesus changed their thinking by telling them that the most important thing is to treat others the right way. In today's story, Jesus arrived in a town called Bethany. He and his disciples were going to the house of a couple of his friends who were sisters. They were named Mary and Martha. While Jesus and his friends were visiting, Martha was busy doing everything that needed to be done. She was working hard. We do not know exactly what that looked like. If it happened today, maybe she'd be cooking a meal, cleaning the house, washing dishes, making sure that everything was just right for her honored guest. But remember, Martha had a sister, Mary. And even though there was a lot to do, Mary was not helping her sister. She was focused on something else. Mary was sitting with Jesus among his disciples, listening to everything he said. Mary was so tuned into what Jesus was saying, she didn't even notice everything that Martha was doing. All Mary cared about in the moment was Jesus, nothing else. Well, as you can imagine, Martha started to get frustrated. After all, her sister wasn't helping with all the work that needed to be done. Martha was in a big huff. She stormed over to Jesus, probably glaring at Mary along the way. Lord, my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. She was so upset that Mary wasn't doing anything. She probably thought that Jesus was going to be on her side and tell Mary to get to work. But let's look at Luke 10, 41 through 42 to see how Jesus responded. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. Really only one thing is needed. Martha must have been confused. She had been working hard to make sure that everything was perfect for her guest. That was important, right? But Jesus continued, Mary has chosen what is better, and it will, be, it will not be taken away from her. Martha had taken so much of her attention and put it on other things, but she was missing what was most important. Jesus himself was in the room. She had the chance to spend some quality time with him. All the other stuff could wait. That day, Martha learned that focusing on Jesus is the most important thing you could ever do. And it seems this event was the turning point for Martha. Later, she showed great love for Jesus. She even saw how Jesus brought her brother Lazarus back from the dead. So let me ask you a question. Do you think the point here is that we should never clean the house? No, it's important to work hard when it is time to do work, but we can't get so busy that we forget to show love to others. Remember, sometimes love is looking at someone when they are talking to you or choosing to put down whatever game you're playing to do what they want to do. Let's take a cue from Mary. Let's love others with our time. Want to join me as I pray? Father God, we just come to you today and we thank you for this time that we get to have together. And Father, we ask you to show us ways that we can love others in our daily walk. Father God, I pray over every kid that is listening and I just ask you to bless them and be with them. In Jesus' powerful name, amen. Well, kids, that's it for this week. I'm excited to see you next week, whether it's online or in person. Thank you. Jesus loves you and we love you. Bye.